In this short video, I wanted to go through five ways that you can make more money in a market crash. Two of them will be fairly easy life adjustments that will allow you to invest more. The other three will be more focused on investing and making sure that you invest in the right things and things that will bring the most benefit. But before we get into it, just remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random dude sat in the kitchen talking to a camera. So please, please, please do your own research before investing your capital. The first way to make more money in a market crash may sound a little bit boring, but it's actually very useful. Max out your pension contributions. So if you have an employer, then you are likely to have a pension which your employer pays into every single month like you do, which is automatically deducted from your salary. However, if you've never looked at it and never thought about it, then you may not have looked into it and worked out what is the best option for you. Most but not all employers offer a contribution match. So for example, with my company, I pay 6% into my pension of my salary every single month and my company also do the same. So this equals a whopping 12% of my annual salary into my pension and employers are unlikely to put you on the highest one immediately. So you need to go seek it out and make sure that you do it and get the maximum opportunity for this because essentially it's free money. Obviously that's a good way of getting some more out of your employer and getting some free money, but this is a double whammy if you do it correctly. The reason for this is that your pension is likely to be invested into an index fund or a tracker fund or whatever you wanna call it. And because it'd be tracking the global market or a certain market, depending on where you live, your pension overall pot is likely to be down at the moment because all of the markets are down. And this gives you an opportunity to get in there and max out your contributions now. So this next month, you'll be putting more than you did last month, including that employer contribution. And that'll give you a better overall return because you'll be lowering your cost base and essentially buying the dip. So that's all good, but it's worth noting that you can actually choose what your pension is invested in. So it's worth having a look at your pension provider and having a look, see what the fees are, what the charges are, etc. So you can minimize your fees because you might save a bomb. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for that, but it would be good if you could all save a bit of money on the fees and invest into something that you actually know about rather than just whatever they put you on because you might have a better, because you might have a higher tolerance for risk, or you might have a lower tolerance for risk of what they've already put you in. So it's definitely worth having a look. The second way to make more money in a market crash is to make more money. Because as the old saying goes, you need money to make money. A good quick way to do this is to take advantage of the free shares that are offered by most brokers at the moment. So we've got free trade, we've got stake, we've got Coinbase, and that's about it for now. But you can easily make 30 pounds in 30 minutes and it takes little to no work at all. And it really does help the channel out, so if you do use them, please do let me know on Instagram or in the comments below, and I'll personally thank you. So if you decided to do that, then you can make a quick buck there, or if you added a side hustle that could make you 100 pound, 200 pound every single month, then that will allow you to amplify your investments and pump more money into your investments. Because when the market is down, you do wanna buy the dip, take advantage of some offers and it will bring you closer to financial freedom which is what we all want and when we get to financial freedom you'll be thankful that you decided to make this extra money when you did because that is the main thing you want to be taking advantage of the opportunities that arise when there is a market crash because you might see your favorite tesla stock on offer or your favorite etf on offer and you can shove a bit of money in there set it and forget it and in a few years time you'll be like that was a smart move that guy on youtube newest stuff i'm gonna go back subscribe watch all of his videos again and give him some more ad revenue that'd be the dream wouldn't it <laughs> and the third way to make more money in a market crash is to like that smash button please <laughs> And the third real way to make more money in a market crash is to find the sectors that do really well in bear markets and market crashes. For example, the food and personal care industries tend to do really well because they are defensive stocks. So everyone still needs to eat, they still need to brush their teeth, and they still need to wipe their bottom. So that's not gonna change. So companies that sell these products are likely to continue doing well if they were before. 
but it is important to look for companies that have a good balance sheet and a lot of cash on it and little to no debt. When I wanna see a snapshot of companies like this, I'll use the Genuine Impact app. Genuine Impact is a great app to compare companies with their financials, their market history, everything that needs to be researched is pretty much in this app. And if you do wanna have a look at Genuine Impact, there's a free trial link in the description, which they've kindly sent me. So go have a look if you fancy and let me know what you think. These companies with good balance sheets and a lot of cash are most likely to survive bear markets and market crashes. So it doesn't have to be a toiletry company or it doesn't have to be a food company. It could be, let's say, Apple. Although they are a tech stock, they do have a great balance sheet. They have a lot of cash. So this is a great example of a stock that could do well in this type of market, but don't take my word for it. Do your own research because as you can see, I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy. Anyway, <laughs> the fourth way of making more money in a market crash is by lowering your expenses. So you might think of this as saving money rather than making money, but by not spending it, you are actually saving and making money. So depends how you wire your brain. And what this allows you to do is have the means and the cash available to take more opportunities. So as I said, if a stock dips that you like, or there is some real estate that you wanna buy, something along those lines, there's more opportunity when you have more cash. And generally it just puts you in a better position. Market crashes can be short, so they could be over within a week, within a month. So if you've got that extra bit of cash, that's great. But if it turns you to a bear market, then that is unfortunate. However, you'll be in a better place again because you are, you've lowered your expenses and you can continue either lowering them or keeping them at that level just to give you that buffer and that safety net that you may need. And again, the longer it lasts, the more opportunities that may come up. So having extra cash is just a bonus and will put you in better stead for taking these opportunities with both hands. Let's go. <laughs> the fifth way to make more money when the market crashes is to look for dividend stocks. In a similar vein to the previous point, this allows you to free up a bit of extra cash and you'll be able to deploy this cash into wherever you want. You can use these dividend payments to take more opportunities or just lower your cost basis over time across your portfolio. And the reason this strategy works is although the stock price is dictated by buying and selling stocks, the dividend payment comes from the company's net income. So if the stock price decreases, yet the company is still strong and still making a profit, then the dividend will still get paid, which is exactly what you want. But remember that dividends are not owed to you at all, so you need to make sure that you're picking the right companies and not just blind picking biggest dividend that will potentially not be able to afford to pay. But if you combine the personal care and food industry with a dividend payer, you may be sort of rolling some of these tips together and creating a fireball of some awesome gains and some money being made. So that has been my five ways to make more money in a stock market crash. Hope this has helped and hope this is thought provoking and going to help you make some more money. And again, if you do want some free stuff, then go check the links in the description and make sure you like the smash button, comment something insightful and lovely because that's what we always get on this channel. <laughs> and if you don't know what I mean, then go check my Safe Moon video. And please, please, please subscribe because I'm trying to hit 25K by the end of 2020. I know that's a new target, but why not? Aim high, let's go. I'm not Menina, but I'm trying to help you. Come on, so peace. Oh, a bit far away. Oh, you like my fit? Like my cut, G?